We just found out that there is protest in Washington about immigration and dozens of highways are closed. This is obviously causing trouble. Also, there are a lot of illegal immigrants who are being forced to leave the country. Now the reporter Eric is interviewing immigrants of their opinion about immigration in Washington. Hi, I'm Eric and today I'm going to interview Tim and Maysoon on their opinions on immigration laws. What do you think about immigration? I think we should be able to move from country to country without anyone telling us what to do. What are some pros and cons about immigration? The good thing about going to America is we can have jobs and get money, but the bad thing is later on we have to take a test to prove that we are citizens. And what do you want to happen in the future with immigration? I want immigrants to be allowed to live in America without taking tests and going, all, going through all these papers. Alright, thank you. Now I'm going to interview Tim on uh, his opinions on immigration. Hi, what do you think about immigration laws? I don't like it because they are coming to our country and crowding them. What are some pros and cons about immigration laws? Well, some pros, uh, some pros are, well, there are no pros, but cons are that they are spreading diseases. And what do you want to happen in the future with immigration? I want immigrants to stop coming to the U.S. All right, thank you. No problem. Hi, I'm Tom Shavitsky, and I'm interviewing Dr. Jeremy, the history professor. What do you know of immigrant students? Well, I have to say that I do not like the fact that I can't accept them into my college. Hmm, I see. Can you give us info? Yes, I have a timeline. Come and see. Wow, one time period only Chinese people weren't allowed in the country. Also, at another time, if you were illegally in the country for 14 years, you would be a citizen. Yes, indeed. Let's go back to Washington. So, Gracie, why did you come up with the law? I came up with this law because we didn't want sick people and criminals coming into our country and affecting it. What does it take to become a citizen in the USA? First, you have to take a pa test and pass it. Can you get a driver's license if you're an immigrant? Yes, but first you have to take the test, pass it, and then be 16. I think this law will be very good for our country. Thank you. Thank you. This shows that the president and the three branches of government are working together with equal power so that this immigration problem can be solved. After all, the president did have some good logic. Well, I wonder what is next. Well, that's enough for now. Good night, good night everyone. everyone.